Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Daniel. I'm Summer. I have a girl. Gabriel. And we're the Colombian cousins and our wives. And today. today we are embarking on a journey to the United Nations. <laughs> Guys, the United Nations, the UN. The UN. Wow. Like, that's, it's, this has been something that been talked about a lot on our channel for a long time. People have kind of recommended throw it out there. We, we, done, we done a lot of speeches and interviews, mm -hmm. right? Um, and some of them have been really profound, but it's usually at, at an awards show or like the, mm. the, whatever they did the thing for the graduation mm -hmm. during the COVID year. Yeah. Um, but we know there, there have been a significant events. I know they vis visited the White House. Mm -hmm. That was we discovered that early on. I think the Taylor Guide. Yeah. And we were like, what? they went to the White House. <laughs> the yeah. White House. Where were we? Yeah. yeah. How did we not? I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were under a rock. We know. Like there is so many artists in the world and so much entertainment, so many celebrities and everything. And like to get invited, that's a pretty yeah. Yeah. awesome thing. Mm -hmm. But I think I think they understand the, and so we, we know a little bit about it. The UNICEF invited them over mm -hmm. to speak. And it was part of the whole their love yourself era. It was during that era, mm -hmm. but it was just like it, this ambition of like the, the younger generation yeah, and like the everyone. Youth of the generation. Yeah, yeah. And I think they understand that BTS has had their messaging in mm -hmm. their songs is, is in line with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they have and they have such a huge reach and a positive reach yeah. to yeah. people of their of the youth uh, since like their first album. Yeah. It's all about yeah. youth, right? Yeah. yeah. So I think that's really cool that they tied this all in. So mm -hmm. We've been wanting to check this one out. It's because little, we've seen little bits and pieces along the way, like in our, um, like the guides and stuff that we've watched. Summary, like yeah. we've, seen, we've seen bits and pieces. And we've heard the members talk about how they feel so proud, proud. to be behind RM and yeah. like yeah. Him, him leading that. Yeah. Like he's also delivering a message to the UN in English. Yeah. yeah. His second, that he learned from watching Friends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like, what words can you pull from Joey to help yeah. talk to, to you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How you doing? Right. <laughs> Could yeah. I be wearing any more clothes right, when exactly. he imitates Chandler? No. <laughs> Just me. Yeah, I, I get. The, I haven't seen Thank the show, you. but I do I get that you. reference. Thank you. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> I'm excited to see what he says. I'm, RM is always profound, no matter where, if he's being interviewed by Fallon or whatever. But I'm looking forward to this one. Yeah, Same. this is cool. You ready? Yes. I think it's gonna be a very proud moment. Hey, right. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General. UNICEF Executive Director, and all the excellencies and distinguished guests from across the world. Wow. wow. Distinguished, wow. My name is Kim Namjoon, also known as RM, oh. the leader of the group BTS. I'm emotional. It is an incredible honor to be invited to an occasion with such significance for today's young generation. Last November, BTS launched the Love Myself campaign with UNICEF, building on our belief that true love first begins with loving myself. We've been partnering with UNICEF's End Violence Program to protect children and young people all over the world from violence. And our fans <laughs> have become a major part of this campaign with their action and with their enthusiasm. We truly have the best fans in the world. Aww. Aww. And I'd like to begin by talking about myself. I was born in Ilsan, a city near Seoul, South Korea. It is a really beautiful place with a lake, hills, and even an annual flower festival. I spent a very happy childhood there, and I was just an ordinary boy. Aww. I used to look up at the night nice sky and wonder, and I used to dream the dreams of a boy. I used to imagine that I was a superhero who could save the world. Aww. <clears throat> and in an intro to one of our early albums, there's a line that says, my heart stopped when I was maybe I nine or I remember that. Mm -hmm. Looking back, I think that's when I began to worry about what other people thought of me and starting seeing myself through their eyes. I stopped looking up at the night skies, the stars. I stopped daydreaming. Instead, I just tried to jam myself into the malls that other people made. Wow. Mm -hmm. Soon, I began to shut out my own voice and started to listen to the voices of others. No one called out my name, and neither did I. My heart stopped and my eyes closed shut. So, like this, I, we, all lost our names. We became like ghosts. 
but I had one century and that was music. There was a small voice inside of me that said, wake up man and listen to yourself. <laughs> but it took me quite a long time to hear music calling my real name. Even after making the decision to join BTS, there were a lot of hurdles. Some people might not believe, but most people thought we were hopeless. Wow. And sometimes <laughs> I just wanted to quit. But I think I was very lucky that I didn't give it all up. And I'm sure that I and we will keep stumbling and falling like this. BTS has become artists performing in those huge stadiums and selling millions of albums right now, but I am still an ordinary 24, 24 year old guy. If there's anything that I've achieved, it was only possible that I have my other BTS members right by my side. And because of the love and the support that our army fans all over the world made for us. And maybe I made a mistake yesterday, but yesterday's me is still me. Today, I am who I am with all of my faults and my mistakes. Tomorrow, I might be a tiny bit wiser, and that would be me too. Aww. These faults and mistakes are what I am, making up the brightest stars in the constellation of my life. <laughs> I have come to love myself for who I am, for who I was, and for who I hope to become. I'd like to say the one last thing. After releasing our Love Yourself albums and launching the Love Myself campaign, we started to hear remarkable stories from our fans all over the world, how our message helped them overcome their hardships in life and start loving themselves. Those stories constantly remind us of our responsibility. So let's take all one more step. We have learned to love ourselves. So now I urge you to wow. speak yourself. God, goosebumps again. I like to ask all of you, what is your name? What excites you and makes your heart beat? Tell me your story. I want to hear your voice. I want to want to hear your conviction. <laughs> no matter who you are, <clears throat> where you're from, your skin color, your gender identity, just speak yourself. Find your name and find your voice by speaking yourself. I'm Kim Nam Jun and also RM of BTS. I'm an idol and I'm an artist from a small town in Korea. Like most people, I've made many and plenty mistakes in my life. I have many faults and I have many more fears, but I'm gonna embrace myself as hard as I can. And I'm starting to love myself gradually, just little by little. What is your name? Speak yourself. Thank you very much. Aww. Aww. Wow. Mm. Wow. I had goosebumps like the whole time. Did you, tell, did you catch how, um, like in the background? Yes, B, B, B was, was looking like at him like, smiling. Yes, yes I was all gonna of them say were exactly kind of looking at him, and yeah. you could tell they were very proud to be standing like, behind. I don't know him. everything you're saying, but I'm you're so doing a great glad job. You're doing it. They, yeah. they probably picked up a lot of it, but he was using yeah, like right here, V. And yeah. I used to train. He's proud the right there, right? And J Hope too. You can. See. And J Hope a lot, yeah. a lot of times too. What a guy. First. He, just like he writes lyrics, he did a very good job yes. of writing this. Like he had so many, what's the word I'm trying well, to Well, it was like very deep. poetic. Yeah, very also poetic. Very, very yeah. poetic. Yeah. And then when he was talking about like being a boy, the, the lyrics, like my heart stopped when I was like nine or 10 mm -hmm. or whatever. It's like when you lose your childlikeness. Right, Like yeah. you lose, like you don't care about what people think about you when you're a kid. Mm -hmm. Like you've just got that joy, like just faith yeah. that a kid has and you yeah. kind of like lose that at that age and he's yeah. telling you to find it again i was getting <laughs> i was getting pumped up there at the end he was like find 
find yourself, find your convictions. I was What's like, your yeah. name? I'm like, What's Abigail. I'm Daniel. <laughs> I started feeling like really like, yeah, that's true. We got to just what we stick with what we believe and we gotta yeah. you know all this stuff you know we're like, gonna riot like, nah. no no no, no, no. Not that. calm down calm down yeah, no. yeah. but like his that delivery was... and I was thinking like okay he wrote a lot of this down obviously but there towards the end he was glancing at his notes but he wasn't reading no I no. noticed that too but even from early on too he, when he, he was right. telling like yeah. his story that's when he wasn't really looking down he was just telling his story there was no know? ums or ahs or oh, he did was, so I good. thought that too yeah good public speaker Man, and you got to think like from the perspective of the people out there, like they a lot of them, especially if they've been working with UNICEF, they, they are aware of BTS, but maybe they don't know a lot about them. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's their first time seeing them in person, mm-hmm. you know, and so they come and speak. And so or maybe all they have to go by is, oh, they're a band, you yeah, know, so right. they don't know what to expect. Mm-hmm. This guy walks up and delivers a speech. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, they're a Korean, K- Korean pop band. But yeah, right? K-pop band. I don't think, you know, I'm just speaking from the. My, the brain of me before I knew who BTS right, right, right. was. Like, yeah. well, how would I right. expect him to, to speak? And mm-hmm. it's like, wow, that was profound. Yeah. That was right. Yeah. I mean, if I didn't know who they were, like, I would still think, wow, that was a really amazing yeah. speech. Well, like, yeah. Hundred- like all they stand for, like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm so proud of him for like coming up mm-hmm. and saying that. But the right. fact that we know who they are, I'm like, I'm so one thing, proud. one thing that I, that really <laughs> stuck out that I love that he said is after they, they got a lot of notes and like a lot of people reaching out to them during the whole love yourself campaign. Right. And then he said something to the lines of, at that point we understood and know our responsibility. Our responsibility. Yeah. So it's like, you've hit the success and the goal was really never just to like sell albums and do sold out concerts. Mm-hmm. Right. Like that's nice. And that's obviously has become the byproduct of what's really become their primary mission. Mm-hmm. And it's just like putting out this message and like hope and you know, all these mm-hmm. all these positive messaging that he, they're giving yeah. out there, which a lot of people mm-hmm. gain the success and they just use it however they want. It's like, yeah. it's just party, whatever it is. Well, the goal is success for a lot of people. Yeah. And for them, and that's where it ends. the goal was the message and then mm-hmm. the success came later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's because that was where how they were oriented. Right. You know? yeah. Like their platform message hasn't changed since the beginning yeah right like when they didn't have as much success to now like fully successful and then even even them and that's why i think i mean it's been 10 years and like when you see them all together and the way they are together and and the message in their music they haven't it's pretty it's pretty rooted in mm-hmm. how it's been since since the BTS beginning has which a is whole, what yeah. kind of stick you know sets them apart in a lot of ways mm-hmm. it would have been nice to him for him of him to like summarize some of the notes that they got like you know what I mean? Like read some of the notes that people. Oh, that in. people sent. Oh, that yeah. send in. <clears throat> he mean, said, I'm, "Believe it or not, a lot of people thought we were hopeless at the yeah. beginning." Yeah. Which is yeah, that's and look true. Look at them now. Well, I mean, they weren't part of the one of the big three studios mm-hmm. or companies, right. so it's like some. Oh, uh, and there's a ton of right. K-pop groups. Yeah. So they're like, oh, well, it's just another K-pop group, mm-hmm. and for them to like surpass that and then like explode and now big because of them, big hit is like right. it's up here, high or whatever you want to <clears> yeah. call it. Yeah, that's. Oh. Definitely, I expected. I feel like a proud moment. Yeah, I do. It's there. It's like oh, a very yeah, for sure. Proud that was really cool to see. Yeah, man. I had goosebumps like after the. There's first probably other. Sentence. There's probably other stuff like this. There's obviously this UN speech. Um, and and we we mentioned the White House. The White one. House. Yeah. So y'all let us know, guys, if there what other big moments like this. Um, we need to check out along check their out. journey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big standout like important moments are nice yep. to watch. Yeah, good episode. <laughs> good episode. episode. Oh, good episode of BTS talks to UN. <laughs> yeah. The Next season, time on the, episode the, two, the pilot and season the premiere finale. and finale, yeah. Yeah. and finale all in one. You never know; they can go, they can go back. That's they can do this. They they could. Could be season two. All right, guys, that's all we got. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Uh, please consider subscribing to our channel. We're also over on Patreon, Instagram, TikTok, and Discord. Otherwise, we'll be back in a couple of days with a pretty fun video. So be on the lookout. Until then, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Peace.